trapped and all become my pets find yourself here the invitations were drafted on the finest parchment you've ever seen the wax seal impeccable the penmanship exquisite signed by none other than Derrid Kendrick the son of Alicia Kendrick and the current king of the Moonshe Isles the occasion a celebration the defeat of Tiamat and the cult that dared to raise her from the nine hells and the end of the death curse that plagued all of Toril. Other threats imperiled the land afterward, of course, but there has been a welcome peace throughout the fall and winter. What better reason for a party? The fresh spring air still carries a bite of cold, but also the promise of warmer days to come. A soft blanket of clouds has begun to break above you as the sun rises just above the horizon over the bay. The docks on the harbor are busier than you've seen them in Waterdeep. Hundreds of people are milling about, many you notice, with the same or similar invitations in hand, eager to book passage across the Sea of Swords to the Moonshay Isles. Some fought shoulder to shoulder against Tiamat as red priests from Thay fought to raise her from the Nine Hells. Some are here for their heroic efforts at ending the death curse that spread from the jungles of Cholt. Others here after the defeat of the giants, raging the land after the shattering of the Ordning. Whatever the reason, the docks in Waterdeep are filled with folk of renown. Wizards in robes, soldiers in suits of polished steel, druids in bare feet cavorting with animals, pious priests and clerics, proudly displaying symbols of their gods. 
As you look around, nearly every person of legend or repute seems to be milling about before you. As it happens, on occasions such as these, circles of conversation spring up. As gulls shriek above, we peer down upon a group of adventurers, revealing their greatest feats and debating whose deeds were greater. And here's where we find you, waiting. Your invitations all read VIP and, unlike others, passage has been booked in advance for you aboard the Lady Luck. And here she rests, shifting gently with the tide. The gangplank, though, has yet to be offered, and you see no movement aboard the ship. So feel free to introduce yourselves to those you don't know and those who don't know you, and remind everyone, if you like, of the great deed or about your character that might have afforded you this opportunity. So go ahead and, and if you would, I know we touched on them in the session zero, but uh, for everyone, just tell us a little bit about your character. Who'd like to, to go first? Oh, well. Well, dudes, it was totally outrageous, man. Slowly, systematically, took out the cult of the dragon before defeating Tiamat and her attempts to take over this this humble place that we call home. What about y'all? Blue strides forward. Uh, a little late to the party uh, in uh, <laughs> tripping over various things upon the dock as he comes through, uh, uh, bumping into people as he dies to dodge one, one way or the other. And uh, it, excuse me, uh, uh, pardon me, I, 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 I apologize. I'm very clumsy. I am so sorry. I, I, uh, 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 excuse me. Uh, Nimbus, where are you? I, you freaking lost you in the crowd. Where, oh, there you are, my friend. And I go down and I wrap my trunk around Nimbus and pick him up and throw him on my shoulder and says, oh, you had me at such a fright. I did not know where you were. Uh, uh, who are your friends here? What, what is going on? Uh, I, I, I haven't seen you in months. You disappear and you go off and doing your own thing. I cannot believe why you would do such a thing. I can, just from that general uh, meeting. Um, <laughs> Nimbus is uh, a younger, uh, probably about 30, uh, goblin. Uh, you notice a slight discoloration on his right arm. It's a little darker <laughs> than the rest of his body. Behind <clears throat> him are four <laughs> goblin children, uh, probably about <laughs> 10 to 11 years old, all dressed as monks. <laughs> and there's a female goblin, and then there's a young go there's a young cobalt, who uh, seems to be just hitting the ground with a stick. Blue, um, I think you know uh, my students, uh, Cirrus, Stratus, Cumulus, uh, Alita, <laughs> and he points to the cobalt um, and Stephen, as well as my. <laughs> How do they not know Uncle Baloo? They go there know Uncle Baloo. So they and go I, over I, and they immediately, yeah. <laughs> and I embrace every one of them and put them on my shoulders as well. Uh, you guys have trouble seeing down there. I will help you and lift you up. And I got the my favorite kid up on the up on the trunk held way high. Uh, and I uh, for uh, I forgot to describe myself. I will do that now. Baloo is a seven foot two, uh, half human, half uh, elephant called a Luxodon. He's a Paladin of Torm, uh, who displays shiny, brilliant armor with the with the with the hand of Torm upon his chest, uh, with a brilliant shield on his back and a, uh, a, a glowing mace at his side, uh, and various other accoutrements. But uh, it seems to be very, very fun, fun loving, and accidentally uh, still bumping into people and so on and so forth. But <laughs> very good with the kids, students. And yeah, they yeah. Snap to attention, even though they're playing with Baloo. Okay. You can enjoy Uncle Baloo, but just careful. There's far too many humans around here. And I hold Ow. the la I hold the lady up in, my, in the palm of my hand, I, uh, in a respectful manner. I play with the other guys. Thank you. My wife appreciates you being gentle. <laughs> Right. 
So everybody is here to talk about us. Is that the case, Baloo? I don't know. After uh, the death curse, after we uh, have a, uh, rid ourselves of the death curse, it is now our turn to uh, save the world again, apparently. Yeah, so um, you see Lux, Nurg, and a, a new fellow you don't know. Uh, well, I think, Tormi, you recognize Nurg and Lux, obviously. They come walking up, and they have the same invitation in hand. And I think Rangram is kind of following behind them looking about like trying to find the ship maybe so do you want to go next Lux yeah um, Lux is pretty unassuming looking half elf you know he's wearing his green cloak and all but wouldn't really be able to tell he's a hero I guess um let's see you might see a little mouse poking out of the pocket random pocket you never know what pocket he's gonna be in or no it was a she sorry um, and, uh, yeah, so, I guess he'd probably bump into Tormi and be like, Tormi, is that you? Well, you look so different. Did you shave or something? <laughs> you look a little bit different, but the same. I can't really explain it. Is this where the party is? <laughs> oh, long time no see. <laughs> Air guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Still <loop>. got it. <laughs> All right, children. And he kind of snaps. Everyone, now you've taken me here. I want you to return to the village. Anybody approaches you, you are to put their nasal bone through their brains. <laughs> <laughs> Never see you taught them so well. Defend your mother with all honor, and I gently place her down as I let the kids slide down my trunk. <laughs> Excellent. So, Lux joins the group. Have, have either of you seen Zihava anywhere? Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I like. Quitter. I do not know Hava, and I start looking around, uh, bumping into people, and uh, uh, what's he look like? Humans all look alike to me. Is it human? I'm pretty sure Zihaba was human, yeah. I think it was a... I thought it was a tiefling. I might be wrong. I turned to Nimbus and go, I think all the humanoids look like. <laughs> I agree. Um, um, so then uh, Nerd kind of shoulders in uh, among you two, and he recognizes, you know, Lux and, and Tormi, of course. Um, so Nerd, oh. do you want to tell us about what you look like? I don't know if we'll both fit on this dock. Yeah, Nerg, Nerg walks in. He's you know wearing his traditional loincloth and he's got a cloak <laughs> now and uh, a nice necklace he's fashioned out of all the teeth of all the dragons that uh, you know he's slain over the time. Points out his, the teeth on there. Yeah, this one here is from Tiamat, and this one here is from uh, this dragon. And... How you guys been? Fantastic. Nerg, you made it. Of course. There is no stopping you. You can make it if you want it. Exactly. Okay. Everyone, this is Nerg. Let me tell you, there is no stopping this dude. Yes, he do. Looks very formidable. A dwarf, uh, a dwarf in uh, immaculate armor, comes walking slowly forth. Yeah, and you recognize the um, the invitation in your hand matches theirs, and you found the sloop or the slip or whatever it's called that, that where the boat is docked, and this is your spot. Nearly as wide and deep as he is tall, Rangram is one of the <laughs> largest dwarves you've seen. At five foot tall and roughly two eighty pounds, he is built like a sumo wrestler. He is not shy about his love of fine food and drink, and would be the first to proclaim himself as a rotund but there is vast strength beneath his bulk bald on the crown of his head yet the back and sides are covered in luxuriously coiffed gray hair likewise his beard is a magnificently plated gray that almost completely covers his chest he is brown of eye and carries the deep ruddy tan of one who has spent many years under the sun on the open water he is clad neck to toe in intricately filigreed adamantine plate armor of his own design with an obsessively well-maintained shield and warhammer. 
which some may recognize as a dwarven thrower. He wears a massive backpack, again of his own design, that appears to carry every conceivable crafting tool one could need. He projects an aura of wealth, confidence, and enduring strength. Good day, friends. Is this... This is the uh, boat to the moonshades, I take it. You are correct, sir. I am Rangram Hammershield. Master craftsman. An unparalleled fighter. Uh, unparalleled? It's very <laughs> <impressive>. <laughs> I uh, I walk over and greet him and give him a big hug. Rangram, oh, welcome. Uh, it's come, is it? Come, come. You be friends with uh, Nimbus and I. And uh, this new strange talking person, Torme. He, uh, oh, Baloo, what are you doing? Come on, oh, oh. friends. And I grab Torme with my other arm and I pull him underneath my uh, my other arm. I got my big arm around Rangram. And then Nurg and Lux, it's fantastic. We sh I don't think. I, 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 I stop for a second look at Nimbus and I'm like, I don't think the others are coming, are they? Uh, I, I don't uh, believe Hickaby, so. Hickaby and uh, uh, the uh, But I think you're the... doing enough hugging for everyone. Well, these, <laughs> these look like strong individuals. <laughs> they, sh they should totally, <laughs> totally be with us. Did you, did you hear Hickaby? <laughs> oh my god. He might be in the crowd somewhere. You might have heard his voice, I but it's there's just it's so heard busy. Him in my nightmares, I mean dreams. <laughs> maybe, maybe we should hide. Whoa, this giant elf is like being hugged by a tree. <laughs> oh, my large friend. Please, careful with the armor. Uh, okay, and then Lux. Your armor is fantastic. Lux, I think Lux is Lux is from uh, or has been in the Moonshade Isles, and yep. whatever business you've had here, you've um, you, you received the invitation while you were here, and thought, well, might as well take passage back with the group. I was looking for the um, Waterdeep chapter of Acquisitions Incorporated office. Could <laughs> <laughs> uh, not find it. Whatever. That's boarded up, or or was it exploded? I don't recall. What happened? <laughs> no, it was taken over by his sister's company. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I think that was the last thing we heard of it. I don't remember. So, is there a point for Sindra inviting us to this um, besides just being happy that we saved an ungrateful world? And then pick up your food. Oh, yes. God, I hope so. <laughs> Maybe wine. I like wine. Too much, I think. I find these new lands have such good food and and, uh, and and drink. It's always yeah. You guys sit and talk, and you you get caught up, and gosh, an hour goes by or so, and uh, you're like, there's still no gangplank to welcome you. Um, and all around you, the ships they set off and they sail, one by one, uh, to fish to trade, and some of course headed to. King's Solace, which is the private island, ho island hosting the celebration to which you've been invited. And then uh, after, after some time, the cabin door slams open and a man with short black receding hair stumbles out onto the deck with a bottle of wine in his hand. Ah, he, he recoils from the rising sun and stumbles to the side of the ship and unties his trousers, which fall to his ankles. He moans in. Oh he moans in uh, deep pleasure as he relieves himself into the bay. Midstream, he looks over his shoulder and notices you all standing there. Ah, finally decided to show up. You did. And then uh, he looks down at his bare ass and laughs. <laughs> Sorry for the show. Hardly enough to sit on, much less hold up my trousers. Oh jeez. You see me? He shakes it a few times. <laughs> just smiling over over his shoulder and uh got a little image for you here i don't know if i <laughs> want whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that kind of campaign <laughs> that did not go in the order in which i intended oh do you think there'll be sausage on there <laughs> <laughs> and uh and uh he shakes himself and then ah, and he, and he just he, he um 
He pulls up his pants and ties his trousers, and he turns to you to greet you with arms open wide and a broad smile. Ha ha! My name is Salvador Corsica, famed soldier of fortune. Welcome aboard the Lady Luck. Balu goes, oh, thank you so much, and he runs over and gives him a big hug and then removes the bottle from his hand and walks back to the group with the other people, <laughs> takes, takes a drink, and then hands it to Red Room. Um, before he drinks. Yeah, he, uh, you must have jumped Close over the gunwales. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, uh, maybe not that welcome. And then he, he, he throws up uh, onto the deck of the ship. Ah, uh, sorry. I turned to rank. Crazy turned night. Rank. See, he wastes the drink. What a fool. Ah, I, uh, like I said, wel- welcome aboard. And then uh, eventually the crew sort of make their way out uh, onto the deck, load you up, and uh, you disembark. You set sail. And I mean, uh, Corsica... You're not going to tell us where we're going before we go? Well, it's on your invitation. You're going to the Moon Shales, so... Uh, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, if you want to ask him that, he's he's still trying to gather himself. He's obviously very hungover, and he's sitting down next to the uh, the ship's wheel, which is being manned by um, by his first mate. It's a very short, uh, very muscular human male with uh, dark hair. He's sweating profusely, even though it's 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 not not that warm out yet. Yeah, where are my manners? Meet meet Schleppi, Schleppi Rizzo. He's my first mate. Hey, Schleppy just kind of gives you... A, Schleppy. Just gives I, you uh, an eye. Uh, B- Blue, uh, of course. Goes, Schleppy! And he walks over and gives him a big hug. And then walks over to the oh. captain. Captain, we can't have you like that. And I cast Lesser Restoration on him. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about waking and drink. <laughs> he said he was hung over. He didn't say he was drunk. Oh. What? oh. I like. I totally knew a Slappy once. It was a uh, uh, Slappy Joe. You related to him? I don't think I know that name. <laughs> so you cast Lesser Restoration. Mm-hmm. Here's a... Ah! What have you done to me? And he and he reaches. Well, you in... were sick. I I cured you of your illness. I'm. But now I'm sober. Now I, can... I I don't now do you... sober. So sober hurts. Yeah. And he and he well, reaches into sober. he reaches into like there's like a like a water barrel and he like pulls the lid off and he fishes around in the bottom <laughs> and he pulls up a wine bottle, uncorks it and just <sighs> see you were not able to drink that a moment ago now you can ah, much better well, well, I suppose I should thank you my friend I fix things I know uh, it seems like you do ah. <laughs> uh, I need to do some uh, very important captain things in my cabin, like sleep. So maybe uh, someone could show you around. Let's see here. And he looks around. How long should the voyage be, if I can ask, Captain? Oh, just a few days over to the moon chase. Depending on the weather, of course. So I, so I, I really must rest. My, my deepest apologies. They flew, it seems. <laughs> uh, uh, Schleppy, maybe show them. Sh- and Schleppy just like not shakes his head like mm, not me. Uh, Bolson, uh, Horgram, and you see another guy, um, a stout dwarf with jet black hair, and uh, he's working on some sort of carpentry. He's uh, planing down some wood for something you don't know what, and uh, he hasn't kept. He's been staring at Nimbus the entire time. Uh, he just nod, shakes his head. And then um, a, an elf comes over and uh, he has short, spiky brown hair with frosted tips. And uh, he says, well, Captain, why don't you just let me do it? Oh, God, not you. Very well. Show them around. And then he wean- leans over to you and says, watch over there, and if you know what I mean. 
No, no, I don't know it. <laughs> what does he mean, Nimbus? Very well. I have no idea. You're on your own if you don't know. So, um, Corsica goes off into his cabin, and uh, the 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 person who to lead you around is Farron Ellendell. He uh, he introduces himself. He's a lithe wood elf, and um, he introduces himself and lets you know that he's in charge of plotting the ship's course with um, nautical charts and navigational tools. While that's going on, Nimbus wants to keep looking by, looking back at Shepley, who was looking at him. Yeah, it's a, it's a, so Horgrim Lodestone was the guy who was looking oh, at you, the little dwarf with black hair. Okay. Yeah, and uh, Farron says, oh, don't mind him, little one. He, uh, I would stay out of his way, though. It's funny, I was actually going the same thing about me. Hmm. <laughs> Well, but if he has a problem, he's more than willing to come talk to me about it, and perhaps he doesn't have to share a ship with me. Well, uh, he's he is the bosun, so <laughs> we sort of need him. He's just that ever since his nephew was captured and eaten by goblins, he just has a sort of deep hatred for your kind. Nimbus yes. is no goblin. He is a friend. No, I am a goblin. No, <laughs> you are a friend. What does that mean? Goblins are mean little shits, and you know it. All the ones we met in Ch Chalt were evil little creatures. Were they were not. evil little creatures because they were raised to be evil little creatures. I think they enjoy it, too. Are the children that are under my care evil little creatures that you were playing with? No, of course not. Exactly. They may have a little bit of mischief as I pull a piece of candy out of my ear. <laughs> yes. But, but Child they are... mischief. That's right. Well, if I perhaps, will keep away from the dwarf. I perhaps perhaps it's it is different uh, it's perhaps it is is it it is a uh, a civilized thing. Perhaps you are a civilized it is a nurture versus nature, is what I believe. Although the Cobalt Steven that I'm training really is destroying that idea for me. <laughs> well, he did chew on my boodle. Well, he won't He won't stop trying to punch while his thumb is up. He won't. It, <laughs> he's broken it three times. <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone be, can be as good as you, Nimbus. <sighs> That's a fact. I agree. So, Horgrim finally, after minutes of this staring contest, eventually looks down and gets into his work. But every once in a while, you could, even when you like turn away, you could feel his presence there. Rangram, Rangram walks over to him and, and begins giving him pointers on how to appropriately hold his plane and to, to get the, the best effect uh, to show the, the most grain of the wood. Mm, okay. Forgot! I go over to the elf that I just met, and he's like, Welcome! Oh, nice to meet you, I'm Baloo. Yeah, so make a... Um, we're going to make a roll, the first roll of the campaign. Sure. Make a... Uh, for Rangram Athletics? to show him the... Am I trying to grab a wall? No, for Rangram to tell this carpenter how to do his to, to do his job um <laughs> let's just do a persuasion <laughs> okay um yeah i mean I, he wouldn't take time with that do i get advantage with uh does i have skill in carpentry he doesn't know that so no okay fair Mm. <laughs> I was looking for a 30. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, how do you not? Wait a minute. I thought you said you have it. Oh, he doesn't have a skill. So he looks yeah, at you. He looks at you. And when you first bring it up, he just, because you're like, you, you just walk in and you're like, you don't tell him you're back. You know, you just like try to show him like, boy, 
What do you mean, how to do it? I know how to do it. Um, yeah, as, as what do you know that, about can, it? As, as part of that, I'll pull a plane out of my pack and, and demonstrate for him the, the proper technique. Hmm. That's nice. Who taught you that? It's it's been so many years ago. I, I well well over a hundred years ago, there was a, a master carpenter uh, that I worked with uh, back in Underholm uh, in the Great Rift. Um, mm -hmm. Underholm, you say? Underholm, yes. Underholm. That was it. It it was lost during the spell plague. I've heard. And he runs his hand along it. It's almost as smooth as you filed it. Sanded it with the paper. Nice. And then, like, like his, his mood totally changes towards you. And it's like the polar opposite of the look that he gave Nimbus. First roll of the campaign's a natural 20. <laughs> and, then, and then Blue. Uh, I'm sorry, I... I I got I got behind there. So uh so you started pow owing with Horgrim Lodestone, Rangram did. And then Blue, what was your what were you doing? I was I was like, excuse me, I forgot to greet you. Uh I am Blue and he give him a big hug. I I hold out my hand to get a handshake and then I pull him into a big hug. Oh. Uh, Turn me loose. I let, I let him go. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, sometimes I don't tell my own track. I'm very clumsy. And he wipes his mouth with the back of his hand and spits out. Oh, you smell like goblin. Excuse me. <laughs> what was that? I may not heal you for that one, my friend. I said, he smells like goblin. And then yes, Farron, what a fine smell it is. And Farron jumps in between. Uh, uh, gentlemen, we've just set sail. Please. I know. The, well, if we keep going this way, there'll be less miles for him to swim back. He turns away from you, just starts planning his, his thing again. He kind of gives you a, a, like a, just a sneer yes. over his shoulder and turns back to what he was doing. Nimbus it's okay. And start no. cracking his neck and his knuckles. Like, okay, <laughs> whatever. A trunk wraps around Nimbus and picks him up and put him on my shoulder. Do not worry, my friend. Assholes like that will get what they deserve. Yes, they will. Typically, it will happen at 2 a.m. in the middle of the night while the rest of the boat sleep. I was just about to say later. <laughs> um, and so, so Farron take, takes the rest of you around i guess rangram maybe can get tied up maybe didn't go far maybe just sort of just around the general area just to point people out so you've met i hug everybody i meet <laughs> and uh <laughs> farron after, really likes I, it <laughs> sorry after that little after that little interaction rangram remembers to introduce himself um and he's a, he's a fairly renowned uh, smith, at least. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, he'll... Um, I might got to make a history. Okay. Wait. What did I roll? 19. Okay. It's like, I didn't roll thaumaturgy. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> Sorry, you, I, you introduce your I, name after you've shown him what you've done, and he says... Uh, uh, my apologies. I, I didn't. I didn't realize it was you, Rangram. Uh, it's my pleasure to have you aboard. What are you doing? And he what lowers his voice. What's with the goblin? I have only just met him, but uh, he seems a decent sort, and I have worked with and adventured with a variety of of humanoids and peoples during my many years and I have learned that no individual defines a group 
I suppose those are wide, wise words. And then he tells you about uh, his um, his nephew who was who was kidnapped by a band of goblins in Eden. So I I, I don't I, I don't have any love for them. I only feel rage when I see one. But uh, on, uh, f for you, I'll hold my temper and try to keep up my spirits and ig ignore the fact that he's here. Perhaps give him the benefit of the doubt. Not all goblins are the same that took your nephew. The best I can offer is to ignore him. And he goes back to his work. He's sanding the sanding the wood. That will have to do, and I clap him on his shoulder and walk off. Okay. So Farron just walks around, and he just flips his hair, and um, <clears throat> he takes Baloo by the arm, since Baloo is so lovey, and uh, he grabs him like, like elbow to elbow, kind of walking. <laughs> You're so strong, Baloo. Um, yes, I am. <laughs> he pats your arm. Oh, my. I, uh, I started going into how these gauntlets increase my strength and how <laughs> amazing they are. And my, that's some truck you have, too. <laughs> saved me from the Tomb of Annihilation and uh, brought me, and then were able to bring me back uh, to bring me back to life. Yes. So, oh. mm -hmm. Baloo, what exactly has uh, happened to you in the last... Uh, four or five months since we spoke uh, you've always been a gregarious sort but you're hugging people far too much no, no you know, I, I, uh, I, I I really enjoy with new people I've been traveling the world uh, I've been seeing new places drinking new things and I've been trying <laughs> new things oh, oh, remind me of these mushrooms that I have uh, I have to share them with you they are fantastic oh okay <laughs> I uh, just plan on not having anything to do for the next day. <laughs> Understood. Um, but I've been traveling, and I saw... Uh, I went back to Cholp to visit uh, Orvex and and uh, and the lady and, and the... Uh, uh, I f Sorry, I, the player forgets all the names, but he... Uh, Blue wouldn't. Uh, I've been to... Uh, to Neverwinter. That place is such a mess. Uh, I've been to Waterdeep and uh, Baldur's Gate. I've been to many places in the last few months. It's, it's, it's fun. All in the name of Torm and spreading the word and the hand. And he holds up his hand and says a small prayer under his breath. And it makes his eyes glow white. Wow. Cool. Impressive. I have learned a lot. And I am... I have been humbled. The the clerics and the paladins that I have I have met and have taught me things. Uh, mm. I, and after dying, I just I enjoy life a lot more. I am glad. Oh, that day you died it hurt me very much. It hurt me too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. To find that you lost uh, to the that when you have lost. I can't remember if you lost the arm before or after I died. Yes, we died. No, it was after. It was. It was a uh, yes. We were we were we had a uh, angry dwarf with us, I believe. Oh yes, I think I met him. He was there when I was resurrected. Yes, but you did give me an arm when we returned. Ah, uh, yes. Slightly uh, darker in color, but still an arm. Torm has many blessings uh, upon me and allows me to do his work and. You, my friend, are are a part of. Well, thank you. I you didn't age age several years because of. <laughs> yeah, uh, I that still was... don't know how many that is, but. Well, at least you don't age anymore, right? So you tell. Well, me. I age, but <clears throat> it doesn't show. Ah, yes. Although it'd be sad, my friend, when you outlive your family. I will not do that. Well, 
if I'm an adventurer, I'm sure we will pass away <clears throat> doing the work of Torm and surviving the hero's way. Yes. And don't let that bastard up on the boat bother you so much. Uh, people are ignorant, and by now they should know. If you were a bad goblin, you would have been killed on sight. <laughs> <laughs> so many things that I want to say to that statement, but just thank you, I appreciate hey, it. I remember a time where you were ready to kill all the goblins, too. Yes, I remember that as well. Yeah. And so Farron kind of like pulls you away. Come on, Mr. Blue. <clears throat> so the rest of these guys, oh, these are guards. They don't have names. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, then I you... pat them. I pat them heavily on the shoulder. Not realizing my my uh, my strength, even though I've been with it for uh, at least a year now. <laughs> yeah, you knock you knock some over. Scarred one, two. I don't care. Um, and then he points to uh, the a couple of guys. That's Hempel, and that's Riley. They man the thunder cannons. What and, the is a thunder cannon? Yeah, none of you have ever heard of one of these, and it's <clears throat> it's you know to the players, they're cannons over the side of the boat, and they're just sitting there, and there's there's huge uh, balls of iron stacked in pyramids next to these um, long barrels, also made of iron. Why do you have these strange tubes? You talking to the... There's Hempel yes. and Riley. I run over to them and put, take each of them in their, my arms. and give them. There's one on one side of the boat and one on the other, like a cannon. I drag <laughs> one with me to the other side of the boat and plug them both. <laughs> and, then I, and then I go, Just tell me about these magnificent things. What? The tubes, the metal tubes with the metal balls. He looks at the other one. What's he saying? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. What are you saying? And they both look at you. What? Oh. Uh, blue, with my hand on both of them, casts lesser restoration one than the other. They remove death. Uh, okay. You're going to use all your spells. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think for them, it, 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 it it's a temporary measure for their permanent sure. hearing loss. Uh, but they're like... Oh, my word! I can hear fine now. It may not last very long, but at least you'll have it for a little bit. It it never does. So, so you want to know about the thunder cannons? Yes, apparently they cause deafness. Yeah, yeah. Renburn's fascinated. Should I be okay to fire off a a round or two to show them? And uh, Schleppy just begrudgingly nods well there's a wizard and he he casts some sort of arcane uh, I don't know what you call it a signature or a drawing uh, what what is it a glyph yeah. yes yes inside the cannon and if it's touched with fire it casts a spell thunder wave have you do you know it Thunderwave? Yes. Uh, I've, I think I've seen it cast before, yes. Uh, a kobold sorcerer uh, that used to be with us. <laughs> yes, uh, concentrated. And it, it fires these uh, balls of metal out. Shall I show you? Oh, yes. Uh, Nimbus, you want to see too, don't you? With all my heart. <laughs> So he, he packs it in there and uh, he packs packs it full of fodder to sort of you know block it up to build the pressure. And um, he takes a, uh, a punk, a lit punk, and he sticks it down in a very tiny hole. And as he does, he's like, oh, I'd hold your ears if I were you. Uh, I immediately stick my finger in my ear and then take Nimbus on my shoulder and push him up against my other ear. <laughs> <laughs> and then he sticks the wick, the punk down into 
the uh, barrel and then boom a huge explosion and you see you can actually track the uh the cannonball fire off across and then plunks into the water does that have the ability to hit another ship or i mean could it, it looks they, but, quite powerful what what <laughs> <laughs> Get me it... away from your ear. What? <laughs> I can't hear you. Oh, oh, sorry. Nimbus. Oh, I can hear now. Thank you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> they both, they both like open their eyes and, and nod with like grimy pirate teeth. Yeah, that's what they're for. That's very impressive. What? It's impressive, the damage that it probably could do. Uh, what's he saying? And I just do a thumbs up. Yes! <laughs> they, give you a, they give you a thumbs up with their butter teeth. They... Uh, for next time, though, I think uh, wax in your ears would help. I have a with... feeling they already have plenty of that. That's just my <laughs> opinion. That's the wax between their ears. It's not the <laughs> Um, okay, so Farron kind of like drags you away. He's like, ah, my ears are ringing. I don't know about you, Baloo. Uh, no, no, I, I was able to cover up very well. <sighs> I am good. Uh, and I, I trip over a cannonball or something. <laughs> yeah. You know. oh, they'll have to stack those up again. Um, one more person on the ship. Oh, I, I hit it with my balls for a spill everywhere. <laughs> Do you know? Uh, there, there's a cook on the boat. <gasps> I'm hungry. You hungry? <laughs> I'm always hungry. And uh, he says her name is uh, Penelope Rumple. If you go in her kitchen, don't try to take anything until dinner is ready or lunch is ready, for that matter. She will whack the living shit out of you with an iron spoon. <laughs> Seems painful. Thank yes. you for the warning. Yes, she makes fantastic meals, but likes to be alone in there. All right, I, I believe I've shown you about. Is there any question? No, no, thank you. Where were our quarters? Uh, where will we be staying? Ah, let me take you there. I'll, I'll show you to your quarters. Would you like to see mine, perhaps? Sure, why not? <laughs> Um, I'm going to get down and Nimbus <laughs> just jumps down off his shoulder. You've, uh, you've got Nimbus, this. you don't want to see his quarters too? Why don't you know I come? I'm perfectly fine. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure they to... are very nice. I mean, this boat is yes. magnificent. They very... thunder things and... Have fun. <laughs> Nimbus, you see the, uh, the, the other... Trouble. You see the, uh, the unnamed guards and the other people in the boat, they just kind of, like, snicker and they, like, behind their hands. Um, what is so funny? I don't understand. <laughs> so they they show you to the room, to your rooms, and um, Blue never picks up on Ferenc's passes, and you eventually have some time to relax. Uh, sometimes these foreigners are so friendly. I love it. <laughs> so while that's going on, Nimbus wants to go up to Lux and just he's kind of like looking him over, and, yeah. and he he says. Uh, so, um, did you defeat uh, a god, or did you prevent a god from coming to this realm? Well, we we prevented a god coming to this realm by destroying her avatar. Oh, impressive. Hmm. Yeah. We so, destroyed um, a uh, a lich. Nice. It it was impressive. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> did you did you get like any trophies from it? Take his head. Uh, no. Um, I lost an arm, but I got it back. Uh, oh, Blue died. He came back. That's awesome. I got that's a so cool cool. amulet. Um, that's about it. It's... Well, that that was the whole thing. Remember, is is that we could come back. Right. Well, yes. Everybody can die now, and then they can come back to life. So, there's that. You're welcome. Yeah, well, thanks for that. And, 
Not a problem. Yeah. So basically what you're saying though is you have no proof. Uh yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> um, yeah, really no no we don't have any souvenirs to you. Uh yeah, uh actually Nerg has one of the Avatar's teeth. On his necklace. Right? right, but is that like how can you tell that that's that dragon rather than a million different dragons? I have to go pee. <laughs> right, good talk, good talk. <laughs> Blue coat's wandering back. I would have sweet talked uh, the guy into giving me some liquor or some mm-hmm. bottles of booze, oh. and and uh, would have con- came back drinking it and with an extra bottle for Nimbus. You, I'm good. I don't even do that anymore. But I pass it to one of our uh, new friends, I guess. Ringer. <laughs> He's like, there uh, you go, buddy. Uh, Miss. Blue, do come back when you're ready. Uh, I'll be waiting. Your room is very nice. Thank you for all your kindness. <laughs> I like your hugs. And may oh. Tom bless you. <laughs> He's a very friendly guy. Yes, yes, he he is. It's strange, you keep touching my butt, though. It's very <laughs> odd. Uh, well, it might have just been the space. There's not. You know, I space. I travel and I've come up with these uh, these these strange traditions and and welcoming uh, 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 like rituals and so on and so forth. So it's very <laughs> odd to know, you know, how things work. So th- I think that's a very maybe. And I start patting Nimbus on the butt and Tormi on the butt the same way. Uh, <laughs> see, it's uh, it must be like what they do. Yes, that's it. Pos- yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, but this wine is very good. You should at least try some. You don't have to drink a lot. Just that song. I will as take I, a sip of the wine. As I as I look at the bottom of the bottle and see if there's a label, pour some out by accident. Oh shit! <laughs> Mm-mm. It's not. For torment a little for your homies. <laughs> uh, and I hand the, I hand the other bottle to Rangrim and the other guy in the uh, Nerg and Lux and Tormy. Whoa, goes down smooth. <laughs> yes. Oh. As, uh, as so, as just as... so you know, if you find the cook, she doesn't like to be bothered until it's actual dinner time. So, from what I know, so careful. But this is—I stole this. So well, I, I didn't. I didn't steal it. I, I. The, he was very nice to give it to me. He wanted me to drink it in his room, but I said, <laughs> "No, I gotta go share with my friends." So. Right. Well, um, cheers, I guess for. Us all saving the worlds from different things. You were talking about that? That was fantastic. Uh, those awful statues that killed me, though. Yes, there was an awful statue that killed you. I Thank God you, were, you guys were able to do it so I could come back. I'm so happy. So who drank the wine? Hey. Uh, I did. I did. Uh, Nimbus did. So did Lux. I, I drank half a bottle and then passed it along. All right. So you all are under the effect of roofies. <laughs> I, I don't drink wine. <laughs> yeah, Rangram didn't have any yet, he, but uh, uh, he has he has pulled out a small keg of his own mead out of his back pack and. Uh, Ooh, what is that? Is uh, is willing to share this? This is a mead I made. Uh, it's his. Uh, it's a yud. <laughs> mead. Yeah, yud. Uh, it's a honey wine. Mm. Um, it has been infused uh, with um, uh, ch- chili peppers. <laughs> uh, so there is a little bit of a kick to it. That doesn't sound awful at all. I will try some. And uh, begins pouring to anyone that wants. Uh, Blue takes it readily and enjoys every drop of it. Mm. Same. Yeah, DM, DM will have some. Nim- Nim- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got it, it burns in the back of the throat. It's got some kick. It's gonna be like the hangover movie, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so you guys spend the night Hopefully. drinking, uh cavorting, catching up, introducing all that stuff, making fast friends. And after a decent night's sleep, um, you make your way back on deck, and it's at a veritable standstill. 
and uh, a murky fog sort of keeping the rays of the early morning sun from reaching you fully. <coughs> Literally asleep at the wheel is Salvador Corsica. <laughs> He's leaning forward on a short wooden stool and his face is resting on the ship's wheel. <laughs> A looped rope used to hold the wheel steady has slipped off in the night and is lying limply at Korska's feet. Three empty bottles of wine litter the deck around him. Schleppi emerges from his quarters, looks around, notices the fog, the captain asleep, and starts barking the orders. Ready to ship for battle! Here we go again! Captain! Captain! Wake up! It seems we've found our way into Agramok's corner of the sea again. And Corsica wakes up. Ah, and wipes the drool off of his face. Impossible. <laughs> I tied off the wheel myself. There is no... Po and then he looks down and sees the rope at his feet. Uh, his face drops. Oh, no. Do you suppose when he said never to come back... Or it would be the end of me that he meant it. <laughs> uh, and uh, he, he laughs and he just kind of makes his way over to the panic crew rushing about preparing for battles. And he, and, and he comes over to you. Uh, <laughs> hello, friends. Uh, it seems we may be in for a bit of a rough patch. Uh, it seems we've wandered into the lair of a rather grumpy dragon turtle named Agramok. I may have tricked him a little the last time we were here. Uh, he told me never to come back. I, uh, it was a mistake going there the first time, and it was a mistake again today. And he points over at the rope, and he says, I, I've learned uh, all kinds of things from my many mistakes. Uh, the, the one thing I never learned is to stop making them. And then as he says that, the boat just like you feel something hit it from beneath and it just rocks everyone uh is just almost knocked over the oh, crew goes yeah the crew goes silent and a solid minute goes by until a massive shell raises from the water and uh, at the rear of the ship followed by a moment later by its massive head oh well, look at this. So this can it can be reasoned with, you say. <laughs> awesome. Corsica. I warned you not to show your face here. No. If we I'm... just give you him, can we all go away? <laughs> yeah. It, it acts as if it doesn't even see or hear you. I use thaumaturgy just... to raise my to raise my voice uh, three levels higher. Okay. Is if is if we just give you him, can we go on our way? <laughs> no, I'm going to add this leaky bucket and all the souls on board to the hoard at the bottom of the sea. Please. Corsica pulls his sword out and uh, grabs the rails and shakes it at the massive beast and says, uh, To the last I grapple with thee, from hell's heart I stab at thee, for hate's sake I spit my last breath at thee. The dragon turtle uh, slowly begins to sink beneath the surface. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I brought blah, some blah. friends and... <laughs> this time and then he's go and he's gone he just like sinks beneath the bottom of the ocean and Corsica turns to you and says was that la last bit too much yes ah. you're talking as though you, you're going to die I'm not going to die ah. I, I, no we are not going to die if we have to we'll leave I read it somewhere I thought it was sounded heroic no I mean yes oh. if you're going to go oh, out yeah. there and uh, kill uh, that thing I'll give you that it did sound heroic yeah and then the boat is just rocked again. And um, we are um, going to roll some initiative. Oh, initiative! Don't oh. forget to click your token. 
Sorry. Oh, poot. Mm. Look at that. Par for the course for blue. Under five. <laughs> okay. So really the only ones who can help uh, during the battle. So Schleppi's about barking orders. Corsica is trying to steer the ship. Um, you guys are on board. I think I have all of your tokens on there. Um, yeah, it's the old token. Hmm? Oh, it is. It's my old token. That's right. New no tokens, old tokens. All the tokens. Glad I Nana asked. tokens. Okay. And then so, so uh, the dragon turtle sinks beneath the water, and then you see several shark fins pop up, and they begin circling the ship. Um, you can sort of see them, but can't quite get a beat on them. I'll show you a few, I believe. Okay. And uh, but they're they're under the water, so you can't quite target them unless you get in the water or you have some sort of means of, you know, penetrating the water. Let me roll some. Oh, I have a way to penetrate. <laughs> you gotta reload. As soon as I said penetrate, I knew. Yeah. I had to pop my character sheet out, and it popped up to where I can't close it or get to it. It popped up off screen. Uh -oh. Okay. <laughs> The dragon turtle rolls a 20. Nice. Okay. All right. Just want to make sure Tormi is in the turn order. Okay. Uh, so the dragon turtle is underwater, and uh, he's just trying to rend the ship in two. And so if you want, um, Hempel and uh, Riley are, they, they sort of knocked off their feet. So you can, if you want, try to take a blast at them. The cannons will shoot a few feet, maybe a league or, or two or three beneath the surface. Uh, you should be able to click on them and control them, I think. Yes. Feel free to try. They're on the boat. Yeah, just click. Click, click it, and there's a. Yeah, click, click the guy. Oh, I see him now. I see him. Yeah. yeah. All right, so Draggy Turtle will uh, he will beneath the boat and try to just blast it with his breath. Holy shit! Okay, he hits the boat. And uh, you see the wood blistering, even though it's steam coming from his mouth. Uh, the wood is blistering. Okay. Uh, Nerg, you, sir, are next. So you said we can run over these cannons and fire in their direction at something? Absolutely. Uh, you can jump in the water. You can attack. The ones that you can see are sort of above water and can attack. There are a couple that are on the GM layer that are under the water that you can't see. So if the ones that are above, we can actually see then if we have ranged weapons. Yeah, I'll say that. I'll say the top of their fins are just the top surface of their bodies up there. So yes. Unless you want to, I'll just give Hempel and Riley a turn on 20. Sorry? Uh, actually, no, 20's already passed. So I'll give Hempel and Riley a turn after Baloo. So I'll allow the cannons to be shot after that. 
All right, I'm going to go into a rage, and I'm going to attack this guy. Okay. Uh, you hit. Ignore the second eleven damage. Okay. Or the second poison. So four, fourteen. It's just the fourteen. Okay. All right, that comes back to you. Yeah, and then I think I like attack again. Mm hmm. Yes, it does. Uh, Eleven damage. Got it. Okay. Ring room. Uh, seems as good a time as any. Uh, I'll bonus action. Giant mm. smite. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Um, well, first, can I see the... You say the dragon turtle's underwater, right? Uh, you can see what you can see. So you can... Uh, I'll, I'll say that you can make attacks against the creatures that you can see. All right. I'll, uh, I'll start doing that then. So you can't as long as you don't end your turn there, because uh, uh, this guy. <laughs> okay, I'm just like standing over him, I'm, like ten feet tall now. Yeah. Um. <laughs> all right, I'll uh, attack. Throw my hammer at the turtle. That is a hit. For sixteen. And we'll try again. <laughs> yeah. Twenty three. Okay. And one more time. <laughs> All right. And with that last one, yeah, I'll just uh, push him five feet back. Five feet away? Okay. Yeah, and then I'll just take one. <laughs> I love the giant. I love that. That's pretty cool. Um, the, or the crusher feet only works if it's one size larger. Oh, the... Oh, it's... Oh, wait. Right. My bad. So the bonus? Uh, no more than one size larger. I'm large. Is it... It's... it's four squares in there. Gargantuan, yeah. Okay. All right. Never mind. Huh. And for some reason, it didn't add my giant smite damage. It's not right. Huh. Uh. 
that your bludgeoning, the second bludgeoning? No, when I'm large sized, I get uh, 1d8 additional damage per attack. <laughs> you rolled one, three times. Is that possible? No, that didn't. That didn't work for some reason. It, it says plus no, one. Did one instead of one d8. Yeah, it says plus one d8, but it doesn't actually roll. So no. roll a three d8. Okay. All right. So there you okay. go. There you go. Fourteen more. Fourteen more. Cool. All right, they're just bouncing off its shell. Um, giant Rangrama. That's dope. Um, all right, Hunter Shark. Uh, this one will come beneath the boat and try to bite the boat. 23 hits. Okay. And... The one you can't see will do the same thing. Just hits. Uh, does not. It's a 15 uh, uh, threshold, uh, damage threshold, so it doesn't, doesn't do any damage. Uh, it's going to swim here. Nope. Nope. Okay. Yes, but not enough damage. Nope. And one more you don't see. Yes, and not enough damage. Okay. Uh, Tormi. Actually, I'll be I'll be right back. I got a P two. <laughs> okay, yeah, thank you. P e break. Nimbus, you want to go? I'll just do word of recall. We'll leave. What was that? I'm sorry. It's like, Nimbus, do you want to go? I can do word of recall. We'll just leave. <laughs> now I'm trying to think about how I'm going to jump in this water and it's going to be very cool. Guys fly on three people. Yes, but they're in the water. Right, I mean, flying could help I mean, a little bit. I'm, I'm gonna try to chew polymorph into a rock, so. Alright. I'm gonna guess. See what happens. I'm gonna beat the living shit out of these whole I'm, rocks. Uh, I'm, I'm planning on guessing them at seventh level. I don't know what that is, but it sounds awesome. So, guess is basically I go, uh, you and your friends leave us alone. And let us go. Okay. And it lasts for a year. Oh. Sorry, I was about to pop. I'm going to try first. Except I go last. So. You do? Oh, yeah, man. You rolled worse than me. All right. Tore me whenever you're back. Just got back. Well, I'll try, I'll try mine too. Bat matches. <laughs> Tore me's going to. <clears throat> ah, movement's on. He will get there. All right, D 
Dudes, this isn't a prediction, just a precaution. <laughs> He's gonna cast water breathing. Oh, okay. Oh, and up to ten. Yeah, that's surprising. I down I got this spell. Whoa. Whoa. Damn. I thought that was one person. Nice. Twenty four hours and no concentration. No shit. I knew that from, from critical role. That's a good spell. Pretty sick. <clears throat> and he will Let's see that was twenty five feet. He will stay on, on board right now in case people need to make a save. Okay. And that'll be my turn for now. Movement and casting a spell. Okay. Uh, Nimbus. All right, um, this is going to jump right in the water <laughs> uh, with the staff. Um, he has, uh, hold on. <clears throat> he has the necklace of adaption so he can breathe underwater, but also the spell that was just cast. Um, how far under the water is this large shark? Uh, barely. I mean, you can see the, his fan in the top of his uh, body at the top. All right, great. <clears throat> um, he is going to use his staff of striking. Oh, that definitely hits twice. And then I'm going to use uh, a key point for a flurry, flurry of blows. Okay. And... You can't miss. He has an AC of 13. Oh. <laughs> Natural ones always miss. Oh, true. Um, and I will also... Um, I will also... Uh, use a um a key point for a stunning strike so if he could roll a constitution <laughs> saving throw. you want the shark to roll a con save okay yes <laughs> in my dream <clears throat> i don't believe a 14 is going to do it is it i have an 18 so it does not no sir he's uh, stunned right and so nimbus under the water as the shark stunned just is like Fuck you, the middle finger. <laughs> and uh, and then I kind of swim to the surface to take a bit of breath, but I'm gonna uh, swim over here because I still have a shitload of movement. All right, and that's my turn. Killer. Um, a Grayson. Uh, it says Grayson. It should say Lux, I suppose. Yes, what is this? Oh, it does say Grayson. Look at that. Figure that out. Okay. Uh, stunned. I don't know if I can hit anything that's stunned. Uh, I'm going to shoot um, my Eldritch Blast at uh, this little shark right here. Is okay. He up high enough? Yeah, if you can see him, you can target him. Okay. Let's see. How many of those do I have? Three? At least. I, totally, I totally forgot I can shoot. Four, maybe? Sixteen, I believe. <laughs> one million. <laughs> okay, that's the one I'm going to Yeah, so they have a, the smaller ones have an AC of 12. Okay. So you need to a one to miss. Hmm. Warlock, here we go. Oh, no, it's not on the 
I really should have looked this up. I totally forgot that. Four beams at 17. <clears throat> four? Yeah, four. four. Okay, good. Killer. <clears throat> Let's see this one. Ooh, nice. Gonna, they, the smaller yeah. ones have less HP. I don't know if you want to... Okay. Nice. That's six. That's my phone number. Number of the beast. Hit and hit. Uh, okay. All right. He is almost dead. Uh, I will change the name on my. Uh, thing. Uh, and that's. That's it. Okay. Blue. I walked to the edge and looked down at the dragon turtle. And I said, oh my, oh my. This is how we should be friends. Uh, this is unheard of. He has people on the boat that has nothing to do with this. You should just go away. And I, uh, and take your friends with you and let us be. You can settle the debt at another time. And I cast Gaius. Uh, Gaius. Oh. <laughs> at, seven, at seventh level. Ooh. Which means if he fails, it'll last a year. A year, yeah. Um, wisdom, right? It is. Okay. It is a uh, wisdom saving throw. DC 19. Oh, 19. Fuck. <sighs> He's going to choose to make it. Very unfriendly of you. We are, but guests. <laughs> And uh, this man has uh, a thing, but you, uh, uh, it's, what? it's, Parm has willed this so. We he looks at you, to save the world. he's about to bite the ship, and he says, uh, 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 I, I will obey <laughs> my Brethren, though, they don't listen to me once they've been given an order. Good day to you, sir. And he just <laughs> drips back into the water and just like starts to float away. May the best thing, may the best things of Tom be uh, 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 upon you. Uh, have a good day. Yes. Come wh back again. Whatever. <laughs> and he just. <laughs> dips back into the water. He's done. I see the turtle spoke reason. What the hell happened to you? You used to just smash things with your hammer. <laughs> I, I can't swim. <laughs> <clears throat> Almost choked when you said that. Uh, Nurg. It's your turn, sir. Okay, so I see Nimbus is uh, attacking this one here in the water, right? Uh, yeah, it's Indeed. stunned. It's like when you flip in a gator river okay. and rub its belly. It's just sitting still. I pull out my <clears> sword <throat> and I go jumping off the other side of the boat. That's what I'm talking about. Love it. And attack that one. Or recklessly attack it, of course. Mm -hmm. Like been soup tonight. <laughs> you hit this one. Hit. Yes, it does. So thirty-nine damage. Yikes. Okay, still up or down or swimming, alive. Twenty-two hit. It does. <laughs> Oof. Uh, whatever that is. 43? Dead. 43? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whatever uh, that might be. I still have some movement left. What? So I'll move over to this guy and I'll make a third attack. Okay. <clears throat> uh, you hit? 34. Oof, okay. All right. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, so you climb. Okay. So giant ragram. <laughs> um. Oh wait, I didn't fire off the. That's okay. We'll do it next time around. Did you did you kill a a different shark? Yeah, I think you did. How's that? I I see it on the uh, turnover. The stunned one. The stunned one's dead. Oh, I didn't attack the stunned one. Oh, I thought you killed this one. There was one here that you killed. Yeah, this one up here is the one I attacked off the Ew. end of the boat. Um. All right. If it makes you feel any better, I'll be attacking oh, the there we stunned go. one. <laughs> That's it. Uh, well. This guy's stunned. <laughs> I fixed it. All right. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> I'll just attack him. <laughs> that that'll do. That'll do, pig. Hey, that'll do, don't get Okay. My clear. Oh, shit. And I'll. He's still up. I don't know. Right. What's that math? All uh, that counts? Yeah. 24 and then uh, 28. Uh, 30. 17. So 22, 30, yes. 46. Okay. 46 total. He'd be dead. Between the two attacks. Uh, yeah, I'll just, that's it. I'll end my turn there. Okay. Um, the baby sharks will attack the boat. Baby shark. Doo -doo -doo. Not baby enough baby damage. Shark. No. Not enough damage. God damn it. Boop. Uh, all right, so two more. I guess not. Sorry. All right, two more unseen sharks. Ah, oh, enough damage. Okay, and final unseen shark. Nope. Right. Ooh, giant sharks. Oh, there's several of those. Um, oh, yeah. That's a hit. Number two. Oof. Okay. You feel the boat sort of start to list a little bit. About three. Mm hmm. And number four. Oof. Okay. That's their turn. And they're underwater, and you can't see them. Tormi. Tormi is... Don't fret, friends. I'll take care of these few. 
and he's going to leap into the water and attack this one and start smacking the hell out of it. He's going to <coughs> booming blade. Well, booming warhammer. This first one right here. Boom hammer. He, uh, 19. He is dead. And uh, underneath, the, or will he be able to see more under the water? Yeah, you can see. Whoa. There's many more out there, dudes. One here. You see several. Uh, closest to you, though, is this okay. one here. And I will spend a sorcery point to, along with my hand trip that I just used, quicken spell and cast Spirit Guardians at level 5. <laughs> foot radius mm. everything around me okay oh you got new little little icons yeah, I'm trying them out that will go off a bit. so he'll swim down and cast that spell and that's his move so he's gonna swim when the water start attacking more okay uh, Nimbus. The water uh, is beginning to sp shoot up in spouts in different places on the boat. You see over your shoulder while you're in the water. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Nimbus is going to swim over here after <laughs> hearing whatever fighting is going on with Nerg. And he is going to attack. And he's going so to if you're underwater, you see a giant shark here. Oh, okay, I don't see and a then, giant so shark here. I... Yeah, sorry. Uh, oh. So you're you're here. So closest okay. to you is a shark here. I will go after that shark. Okay. I'm gonna. Is that close to? There, yep. There, there you go. You Perfect. Can probably just put them there. And do the numbers on the token like you did for flying, and just swimming instead of flying. Mm. And that'd be how deep they are. Yeah, I, I just don't want to reel it to everyone though. It's everyone can't Got see. It. So, um, all right. So, Staff yes, that's a hit. Striking. And I will use two charges on this gentleman as well. So that's uh, twenty-four. Another eight. So that's thirty-two, and then I will use. Uh, key point for for flurry of blows, and I will two attacks. Oh, oh one of them misses! Wow! I'm blown away. <laughs> and um, on one of the uh, I can speak. Uh, one of the flurry of blows attack. I will uh, attach the open hand <laughs> technique <laughs> that will allow me to uh, knock him uh, 15 feet away. Oh, okay. He has to make a uh, he has to make a deck save or be knocked prone. Hmm. I don't know that they can be knocked prone. Let's oh wait, see. it can be knocked prone, but it would be pushed. Oh, and it saves. Hmm. Nimbus looks at this and is like, giant shark be not a prone. challenge. Yeah, it can. Okay. It's still up. All right. That is my turn. Lux. All right. I'm going to lean over the boat and take a shot at this shark over here. Or four shots. Okay. Where are you? There you are. It's got three. Got it. Alright, let's go there. Uh, hit, 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 hit. <laughs> um, so he has 11 hit points, so the... Okay. Uh, uh, second one kills him. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't see any of the targets to fire at, so... Okay, gotcha. Just use my... Nerg's there. Alright, and then I'm gonna... 
don't see anything on this side of the boat, so I'll move to this side. I don't see anything over here either. So that's my turn. All right, the sharp surface. Oh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they're not really. They're under the water. All right, balloon. Uh, they snicker and go back down. <laughs> you said the uh, the boat was taking water? Oops. Oh, yeah. So I make my way down to underneath the, the, um, the where the holes are. Okay. And I, and I cast control water and force mm. the water out. Okay. Um, there are like three spots that are pretty big. Well, I'm just forcing the, the total water out. If, if it's coming in, I would stop it from coming in and start forcing mm. it out. All right, put the so, spell up and let's let's take a look at sure. it. And see what it does. I can raise the water by twenty feet. Oh Jesus! Redirect flow. It's a tidal wave of text. Redirect flow. Like flow. You can oh. cause flowing water in thank the you, area in the direction you choose. And water is flowing. Okay. I can a cube up to hundred feet on the side. I'm assuming with enough for the entire bottom of the boat where the holes are. Okay. Yeah, It'd it's coming in fast, so it's like. It's it's coming in. You're pushing it out. It's like they're biting new holes in it, but it's 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 still up. Yeah, it's like, it says redirect flow. You you cause flowing water and air to move in one direct in in a direction you choose, even if the water has to flow over obstacles of walls or another than the direction. So the three holes that are coming in, they are now going out. Okay. And how? What's the area? Hundred foot cube. Yeah. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Nurk. Yes. It is your turn, sir. So there's none up on top. I'd have to go if, underwater. If you're in the water, you see one here, about ten feet away from you. I'm in the water. Okay. There it is. I'll move over to there and attack. Now, is there negatives, positives, any of that kind of stuff when we're in the water, or is it only underwater we have to deal with? No. We're, we're just going to go with uh, straight st straight attacks. Um, can I can I yell to Schleppe to come down and help me seal the holes? Uh, yeah. Schleppe! Well, yeah. I'll do some I think he's trying to do that. Attacks anyways. Schleppy will come help. Okay. I could listen to everybody say Schleppy all night. <laughs> 14 hit? Uh, it does. Thirty one damage. Okay. Oh my god, all the markers have changed. Where's my clock? It's down on the front. And then it'll be 38 damage. Nice. Okay. Why is there a pair of underwear? <laughs> and that'll be my two attacks. Chastity okay. belt. Okay. Rangram. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Uh, <clears throat> as an action, I'll put the hood up on my cloak of the man. Then jump into it. <laughs> uh, you hear Schleppy oh. above. Oh, the reef! The reef? And uh, go ahead. Right. Uh, so <laughs> you hear basically the reef. <laughs> and you jump in the water. Okay. I just, I just can imagine this little cloak of the Banta on this big, huge fucking dwarf. <laughs> yeah, it sizes, right? Just I think everything grows with me. Tiny cloak. On uh, fat guy. I think putting the hood up was an action. Fat guy in a tiny cloak. Yeah, putting the hood up is an action. So um, I'm I'm just right now looking for enemies, and I will go in the direction I see enemies. Bam, bam. I, I didn't see anything. Closest to you here. 
you're on the you're on the level. We can't see your pings when you're on the when you're oh. on the level we are. Well, let's yeah, it's a pain in the ass. Okay, so I'll just go to there, I guess. And that's my turn. All right. No. I agree with you. The GM ping should be off through all levels. All right. So this hunter shark is going to try to take some bites out of the other side of the boat. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Water's flowing in from different directions. Uh, another one. It's flowing out through the bottom. Mm -mm, not enough damage. Uh, not no sharks. Ooh, giant shark turn. Sharknado. So we'll move to here. Oh, it's 9.13. Okay. Um, yes. I think the third one I did actually. Are so, any of them within 15 feet of Tormi? Um, negative. Okay. Um, this one did. Uh, yes, so before that, he was. Okay. Oh, he's got a wisdom save. Okay. It's gonna be. Wow, he made it. Okay. So the the sharks are biting at the boats from all edges. You see, like in the wake, the giant dragon turtle swimming away. And the boat, despite the efforts of Baloo, just falls apart. The, the water starts flowing uh, in a certain direction. And it just can't maintain its shape. It just begins to sink. Okay. Then I uh, I grab Schleppy. Okay. And move us out of a hole. All right. I'm using the uh, use the control water to keep a bubble around our head so that actually I, we have I can breathe underwater so I just keep Schleppy. Okay. I don't I don't think he has water. The sharks just sort of circle around the ship as it sort of sinks and breaks apart. Half of it sinks towards the bottom, the other half like just sort of shifts and uh, lists uh, towards uh, a small island and a reef. And you all scramble up to the island, as many of you as you can, out of breath and fall asleep out of tiredness and exhaustion. And that's where we'll end it tonight. I, I was going to cast the water walk in and everybody would. Okay. You can moonwalk there if you like. It's fine with me. Sure. <laughs> Gary's like, as long as you end up on the goddamn island, you're all <laughs> walk, set, walk, Walking's a lot easier this you. way. I'm going to call it now. I think that Schleppy is actually the Kaiser Soze of this kid. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, he's, I'm getting a vibe. I don't know why. <laughs> might possibly be all right i appreciate you guys i'll go ahead and kill it for tonight awesome. and we'll see y'all next week awesome. yeah good session. yeah great Thank job you, all right man bye dragon that was nice meeting you see you guys <laughs>